What? All oh, the lights. The bait has been dropped. And Dean Smith's been sacked. Let's go! Well, how's it going and how's the crack and welcome back to Kahuna Gaming where we are now the Aston Villa manager. And as an Aston Villa fan, that's a bit weird. I don't normally play as Aston Villa because I'm too stubborn in my own thoughts of how it should be, which may not directly translate into the game. So then I get frustrated and I'm normally either sacked, only once to be fair, or quit because I'm getting annoyed. So <laughs> it's 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 generally how it goes. But we're taking over Aston Villa. We are um, expected for a mid-table finish. We're expected to get the fifth round of the FA Cup and the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. We lost the final of that last year, so maybe that might not be impossible. We're not to sign players over the 20, age of 28 years old. We're to play attacking football. We're to sign players under the age of 23 for the first team play entertaining football and develop players using the youth system financially there's just under eight million but we have two and a half million in the transfer budget so we're not doing much business we might be able to afford a loan maybe of someone there's about 50k a week in the wages so that's where it is at i've done a little bit of housekeeping this is the squad that we're now left with in the in the first team um Obviously, you're your star man right here, Mr. Captain Jack Sparrow or G Grealish. Jack Grealish is what I meant to say. Um, of course, there's the record signing, Ollie Watkins. I, I feel like they were a little bit harsh on him this year. He could, With the start he's had, he could just have a little bit of a bump. Not a whole pile now because he's, he's still technically unproven. Um, our man at the back, Mr. Tyrone Mings. Handy that he can play left back. Um, and speaking of left back, that's probably our weakest area, even though Matthew Target is more than capable and will be starting unless sure, Sheffield United are interested in him. So if they were to come in with a ludicrous offer, I'd be tempted. But other than that, we won't probably be doing any business unless it's a loan signing or someone from the free agents. And most free agents are over the age of 28. So that doesn't really bode well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look at the, no, there's, there's all the kahuna takes charge of hot seats and this is all the stuff you've seen a million times so what I'm going to do is skip through a little bit have a quick look at the staff and all that kind of stuff and the training and all that usual boring stuff and I'll come back to you maybe in a couple of weeks to see if we've sorted out a tactic and what's the story and we'll probably get our first competitive game in this episode so hopefully signings and a game and see you soon okay folks we are back we are here on the day of the first game of the season here with Villa and we have some changes unexpected changes yes but changes nonetheless so there's some staff after coming in we brought in two new uh, fitness coaches and two goalkeeping coaches mainly because they were needed um, Anthony Colbert will be well uh, familiar to any Arsenal fan out there I spent a long time there 20 years I would say yep yeah, there you go um, and we have a defensive coach as well we got rid of some staff that were excess at Villa um, and surprisingly we did some transfers because I didn't think we would be but we did them in the end so first in the door for us came in on two weeks trial and didn't want too much money Daniel Sturridge um, 27 and a half thousand a week on a one year deal with a contract that if he plays 30 games he gets another year and if he scores a goal he gets 20 grand so if he plays and scores he'll get 50 grand but you know that's not too bad if he plays and scores I'll, I'll, I'll give him 50 grand Here's one that I said I was going to maybe try and strengthen in was left back. 
Uh, Danny Rose is available. High wages, I suppose, at 70000 a week, but he's coming from Spurs, so that's probably to be expected. Only cost me £1.4 million up front. That other £2 million is if he plays 50 Premier League games. And at 30, and with us having another left-back, I don't think he'll do that. So, effectively, Danny Rose has come in for £1.4 million, and that is a bargain. Now, this guy, this was a funny one. So, I went looking for someone to replace someone I'll, I'll come back to this guy actually it would make more sense i only got this guy because over here you will see anwar el ghazi newcastle came in and he would be he'd have been about third choice for me in that position and he gave me 10 million and i was like that's actually enough money to go and buy someone just before that uh, elmo great servant to the club uh, did leave though because um, again third fourth choice and 40,000 a week we could easily get rid of him so we did that um, they gave us ha more or less half a million up front and is it something like 12,000 every time he plays for 50 games so it's if he plays 50 games it'll go up to 1.1 million but it's more about getting Elmo off the books so yeah El Ghazi left um, I'll show you what, what El Ghazi is that's what, that's what El Ghazi was and then we went looking and we found this guy, Stephen Burgess. Burgess, I'm going to say, right? Burgess. Um, it's probably wrong, but that's what we're going with. Uh, Burgess was playing at Fienord. In fact, it was Fienord captain. And uh, he was valued at 16 million. And I was like, okay, I, I don't have that much money. But we, I asked the av availability of the agent. And um, he said yeah, that. They'll accept somewhere between five and a half and seven point two five million. When in fact he actually had a clause in his contract for foreign players that they had to accept it if it's seven point two five million. So I offered it, and uh, we negotiated a contract. But in his contract, he wanted that it was hard locked in that he wanted to be vice captain. <clears throat> so Tyrone Mings was the vice captain, and I was like, okay, look, I'll do it because he's a big step up on what we have on the right hand side um, and for 7.25 million when he's valued at 16 million at the time I was like it's a bargain even if we just get one year out of him and move him on it's profit then two days later was the day that we had to announce our captain for the year and I went and warned him about <laughs> losing the vice captaincy and gave it back to right Tyrone Mings and there was no problem Tyrone Mings was pissed off the first time I took it off him but he was not annoyed after I take it off him after about two days. So, first up now, league game is Brighton at home, a game that I'd be expecting to win. And um, especially after beating Sevilla in the last game, uh, we had a good preseason. One game, we won every game except for one game there in the middle, a uh, little all draw. Uh, you can see the scores and stuff there. He even scored on his debut, even in a friendly against Sevilla. Um, <coughs> Danny Rose has had an absolutely outstanding um, preseason since he signed. So he's the actual only person I may start out of the new people. Um, I'm going with this. Starting with Grealish in the middle with Barclay Roy with the intention of being able to switch those around I've got hiccups I apologise um, again box to box Douglas Louise Mings Kansa Matty Cash bombing up and down here and Danny Rose there also just on support not as attacking as Cash uh, we have Target Gilbert House Howerhan Torore Borghies and Daniel Sturridge on the bench with Engels Nakamba and Wesley and unfortunately Tom Heaton not making the lineup that was actually a difficult one to decide between Martinez or Tom Heaton. I went with Martinez because I could have Martinez in a couple of years, whereas Tom Heaton will be pushing on a bit. Um, so it was um, Martinez that won the day, and we are now going to get this party started. Okay, this is the first time I've done this in this game, so we'd have to. Um, uh, do, do, do it. No, I don't want it to be. No, no, no. All those are better days. I picked the team for a reason. What 
do I press? Okay, right. Um, submit the team. Um, okay. Cash not in agreement. Gets for forward. Okay, McGinn, please. Okay, everyone seems okay with that. Um, it's nice to have the new guy come off the bench for his first game. Oh, sounds. That's probably not a good idea. We'll have to sort that. Okay, we're going to do the hands on the hips. And go out there and impress me. That did absolutely nothing to nobody. Let's get into the tunnel. It's about Aston and Brighton. Every manager would like a Jack Grealish. It's about Aston and Brighton. I trust him. I have a regular team in mind. Okay, we need to get... This is very pretty. This is the first time I've seen this, so... Okay, now we need to get rid of the sounds because that is very, very loud. Um, we only do... You know, extended is fine. Replays off. And director, we'll just see how this looks this year. Okay. We might need to up the speed just a little bit. Okay. So far, nothing. <laughs> we kicked off and that was happened. But there's been a goal at Fulham. Ruben Loftus Cheek has taken the early chance against Newcastle. Now, here we are. Danny Rose on his debut. To another man technically making his debut. Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley shoots straight into Matty Ryan's hands. But it could have been worse. It's a good start. We're on the attack. Now, a defence a throw for Brighton. But gives it straight to Douglas Louise, who gives it straight back to them. But McGinn has a gift to Louise again. Trezeguet. Louise out to Matty Cash. The attacking full wing back. Plays it to Trezeguet, who plays it to Watkins. Oh, I thought it was going to be a cracking debut for the lad. Welbeck. For Brighton, Barkley intercepts Danny Rose. Marcus Rashford has scored for United against Leeds. Jack Grealish with the free kick. Mings, oh! In case you're wondering, I am wearing the shirt. It's just, it's freezing in here. <laughs> it's really cold. So if you'd like to hit that, smash that like button and subscribe, help me pay the, the heating bill. It would be really appreciated. Uh, cash over to Mings. Mings plays it into Grealish. Grealish to Barkley. Barkley to Danny Rose. Danny Rose back to Grealish. Now I want to... Can I do this this way? No, I just want to swap. Okay, stop a second now. I want to... That takes this up. I want to swap Greenish and Barkley. Confirm the changes. Okay. It did it. <laughs> Tariq Lapti crosses. And it has worked. We have five shots on target so far. Five shots, three on target so far. Our XG is significantly more than theirs. Danny Rose to Grealish, Grealish to Rose, Rose, Watkins, Grealish, Trezeguet, oh. Adam Lallana, let's go see to the box, oh. Lallana again. Bernardo, swings it in, header cleared by Mings, Trezeguet on the break now, come on, let's go, let's go. Trezeguet, get, get. You know this fellow won a World Cup with France? Oh, that's, that's, if that's not a yellow card, I've never seen one. That's shocking. 
How is that not a yellow? He absolutely took him out of it. Okay. We're going in at half time, hopefully, in the middle. Tariq Lamptey. Lamptey. Gross. No, Danny Rose. Play it play along the line. Play it along the line. That is shocking. Ben White. Proper. Lamptey. White. Then a big tackle from Louise, but it falls to Welbeck Ross straight into Martinez's hands. And it's half time. Leeds just took the lead against United. We are all over these guys, guys. Right. Pump the fist. We've been the better team. Ollie Watkins is motivated and couple of guys on the bench is motivated other than that it wasn't superb but we're still learning these um, uh, you know these new things in the game how they work Danny Rose bombing into the box swings it in Trezeguet knocks it back Matty Cash to Trezeguet Cash I love Cash Trezeguet Oh. You don't need to check for that because cash is king. Wow, that's excessive. What's all this about? I need to have a little fiddle off of recording to figure out what some things are doing. Trezeguet, <laughs> Danny Rose, Barkley, Rose, Douglas Louise, Douglas Louise back to Rose again. Greenish is in. Oh. Right, we're going to be looking at a shout here, I think, boys. Fire him up. We're at home here now. We should be winning this game. We're all over them with 0.86 XG. Ross Barkley shoots. Ooh. Skims the outside of the box. Of the post. Veltman. Big long ball. Mings will clean that up all day long. Mings down to Grealish. Grealish wins another corner. This could be it. This could be it. Got a good feeling. Esri Khan's a header, maybe. Greenish. Oh, that would have been cool. <laughs> Douglas Louise. Oh, Louise to Cash. Cash. I love Cash. Cash is king. Kanza plays it over the top, but only as far as Ben White. Viltman. Now, I think it would be time after this highlight to make a change. The new man could be coming on. Martinez though plays it out wide to Danny Rose. Trezeguet, Douglas Louise to Cash. Cash swings it in, Greenish header. Oh, it trickles, trickles just past the post. But now it's time for a change and maybe even go a little bit attacking. We'll switch tat, we'll actually switch to the other tactic, this one that has gets rid of the um, defensive midfielder we put Ross Barkley in the hole Grealish tries to get off for Burgoyne's Daniel Sturridge double substitution two guys making their debuts Now let's see, can they make a difference? Hopefully positive difference. Don't need to see them getting a goal here. Gross, oh, tipped over after fantastic agility, Mar Martinez. Gross. Bings. Bernardo picks it up. We need to demand more oh just demand more from the whole atom greenish is it yeah greenish swings it in Douglas Louise oh greenish again though Douglas Louise Barkley this is where he works his magic Burgoyce oh storage that would have been some off the bench duo connection that would have been 
Oh, that could have been the big chance there. Um, okay, I need to see this highlight before I'm making a change. Barkley swings it in. Okay, that was a weird one. Um, now, who can we change the game with? Put Grealish in the middle. Let him attack. Or let Danny Rose attack as well, maybe. Because we should win this game. It's it's actually a bit ridiculous that we're not winning it. We need to up the tempo significantly. Counter press, counter. Counter, counter press. Distribute quickly. And hold them up even higher. Confirm those changes and let's go. Maddie Ryan. Of course, this one will be a little bit longer of an episode because we had a little bit of tat uh, transfers to uh, get through. But the rest of these episodes for the villa during the beta won't be as long. They'll just be games, really. And maybe the odd bit of news in January. But other than that, it'll just be games and of course any bit of scandal that happens Matty Cash to Douglas Louise oh it's the crossbar I think yeah, it's getting the top of the bar Connor Howard on for Douglas Louise funny story Connor Howard's uncle is my vet yep Bertie Bertie Howard is my vet Grealish Howard oh would need guard of vetting for that Danny Rose Ross Barkley try some sort of unusual weird kick do it tell him to mark him Matty, we've, we're going to get out of this this first game of this series is going to be a bloody nil all which is exceptionally sickening berate them because I feel like they're about to score Oh, right, okay. We just berated them. That's a new thing, so we'll do it. Oh, they all look sad. Oh, no, that's their condition. I have to learn things before I... Oh, no, that's not cool. The new man is injured. You know what we'll do? We'll go for it. We'll go three at the back. Three at the back of ten men. Please don't punish me, game. Please, six minutes at a time. Grealish. To Howran. Oh, ball, cash. A free kick is awarded. I thought it was a penalty. I actually genuinely thought it was a penalty. Oh, we won't be playing on extended highlights next time. It will be key. Like I said, I don't want the episodes to run too long. Um just because it's the first one we'll, we'll let it go but the fact that I've done extended highlights and nothing has happened is exceptionally disappointing um, I also don't want to lose the game so ideally we won't do that either so Gross swings it in again headers are clear we still have a few minutes to try and get a winner here of course our legs with Daniel Sturridge up front are not as good as they would have been if I had kept Ollie Watkins on. What a tackle by Mings. Veltman. Oh, close him down. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to nick it. Mings, headers clear. Grealish, ball in the middle. Cash to Sturridge. You would have thought. No. Barkley. Oh, what a ball. Grealish. Oh, my God. What a ball from Barkley, though. But, oh, my God, Grealish. Howren, cash, storage, penalty. 
the referee has given a foul but may consult VAR I, have, I haven't seen VAR really because I never played the Premier League last year <laughs> storage checking VAR penalty review decision penalty awarded ok who takes the penalty Greenish come on Make it a good start. Make it a good start. Yes! Get in, you fucking beauty! What? 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 So now we need to not be super mega attacking for the last three minutes. And also, perhaps, ideally, not be in a ridiculous formation. Okay, let's see out this game with a nice little minute and a half. See it out. Come on, blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Whistle, ref, whistle. Yes, there it is. Episode 1 ends with a 1 nil victory. Thanks to a Jack Grealish penalty in added time. But look at the XG. We thoroughly deserve that. It would have been an absolute catastrophe if we had not won it. Um, outstretched arms. That's the one. There you are. Go with what Craig Shakespeare tells us to say and we'll be okay. Um, that was a very long episode. I didn't expect it. There was so many highlights. <laughs> um, I promise the next one will not be that long. But what I can promise is that's what football is all about um yes okay i'm very pleased i don't want to comment now let's have a look that puts us in to the european spots after one game let's have a very quick look as where we expect to come back um we'll we'll try and drive on a little bit now we might come back maybe for the Southampton game or something like that because that's a run of bad games that we don't particularly want to see um if there was a cup game that was interesting down here we'll, we'll do that instead but we're going to target maybe the Southampton game for episode two so thank you very much for watching if you have please hit that thumbs up it makes a massive difference we're trying to get the exodus of people who are unsubscribing to reduce so if we can more people that can see it the better so leave a comment down below about what the best bit of business is was it signing that guy from holland or was it selling el gazi um i've been the big kahuna you've been the kahuna knights thank you very much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow in the next episode